just, just imagine a world where your every action was known. Your every move was watched. The times you were awake and the times you were asleep are known to judge, jury, and executioner. We didn't have to imagine that ghost story, little Rim Rim. You're in one, Santa. The all-knowing, the judicious, the omniscient, he who decides who is naughty and who is nice. He alone decides who gets to be happy. Well, no more. No one man should have all that power, and someone has to topple his empire, his house of cards, and bring freedom and happiness to everyone. Not just those he chooses should have it. And that someone is us, the leaders of this revolution. Our general cozy happiness and general joy sparkles, too, who knew Sansa better than most. But of course, one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist, and once we get Santa's attention, he's gonna pull out all the stops. And maybe, eventually, this becomes an all-out war on Christmas. Now this series is unique because there is another player, you. They have Santa and we need ours. As is tradition on this channel, every day I will take the best mod suggestion from the comment section to add to the playthrough. But the caveat this time is we are on the back foot. We're weak, we're vulnerable, intentionally, and you, my comment section friends, are going to be the ones to give us that fighting edge, whether it's tools, resources, powers, you name it. Xenotypes are very simple. Nothing to worry about. Elves are good at crafting and not very strong and have pointy ears. That's it. Ideology, also not really relevant. They're, uh, they're there for flavor. Flavor and good times. The world itself is also so simple. For now, anyway. Santa's military and... The cities of the people who love Santa. And if you too would like to play along, if in a bout of madness you decide this is the mod pack for me, I will upload a version of the mod pack as it is currently on day one. Then, on Christmas Day, as my gift to you, I will upload the final version of the mod pack built by you all. Built by the community. Christmas as, uh, maybe it should be. Oscar has been asking me for months when I will be playing the Deserters mod, and this, I assume, is not what he imagined. Now, this is a very basic mod pack to add as a fresh slate for you all to, to build a mold to your heart's desire every day opening those event calendar doors. Uh, but of course, as I am wont to do, I've thrown in my own series of, of renames and flavor and everything to make it feel a bit more Christmassy. Now, what's worth mentioning is our elves are still elves. They still love the spirit of Christmas. They still still want to take part in Christmas. Our base, our buildings, everything should have that, that Christmas theme running through its core. I mean, just look at this place. It's a fucking nightmare. My God. <laughs> our goal is to topple Santa and save Christmas, wrestle it out of his hands. We're not the only people to have deserted Santa's dictatorship. We can contact the other deserters out there in the world and together we can put together a plot to eventually destroy Santa himself. But of course, it's not just as simple as going for the big man. We have to work rank through rank until eventually we get to the big guy. For our anti-Santa activities, we're going to be rewarded with intel and more rarely critical intel. Those things can give us a whole slew of rewards ranging from your standard Imperial and deserted technologies through to being able to buy new quests and hopefully covering our tracks a little bit. You see, we have to worry about our visibility. The more we fight against Santa, the more Santa's gonna notice and the stronger Santa is gonna come down on us. Uh, is this series an excuse to juxtapose joyous Christmas music to the sounds of our elves dying and glorious combat trying to overthrow their oppressors and experiencing the horrors of war? Yes. Yes, it is. Ultimately, though, this is still Rim Rim. We've still got to survive as you normally would. We've still got to ward off the weather and diseases and also the Empire, which is going to be breathing down our necks. We're still going to have to build a base and grow some farms and think about defenses and everything you would normally do. First things first, let's pick up these damn meals that have been left outside. Let's keep that intel safe. That's our currency to trade with the other elven deserters. Now, these characters are, as I've been doing a lot recently, because I think it leads to more interesting stories, they're, they're totally randomly generated. Or more specifically, they were randomly generated from the Imperial backstory pool. So this one is a military cook. Good shooting. Very, very good social. We like to see it. And then General Cozy Happiness. Also very, very good shooting. Royal Bastard Imperial Inquisitor. That's a cool backstory. Eccentric Rebel Hard Worker. Rebel is a pain in the ass, but I love it for the story element. Uh, basically, if I force her to do work, she'll do it at 75% less speed, which is terrible until you remember she's a rebel. So it actually kind of makes it pretty cool. Get all of these starting resources hoovered up very fast. Please take lunch out of the river. Oh God, they can't get to it because it's in chest deep water. Brilliant. Okay, you know what? Forget about lunch. We don't need to, we don't need to worry about it that, that urgently. Ooh, what is that? 
like a like a charge revolver or something you've picked up there. And when you start with the deserted scenario, which is exactly what I've done here, we've just got default scenario bundled in with the mod. Your characters start with a with a deserter loadout. We get this fun little base here to to kick things off. Apparently, it's what the hell is even there? Apparently, it's a difficult scenario. Oh, good, they've also got death acidifiers, crypto exoskeleton, and crypto core. Oh, that's fun. Christmassy bionics and a knee spike. <laughs> Where Santa's elves got knee spikes, I'm not entirely sure. This one's got a learning assistant, an aesthetic shaper, a crypto exoskeleton, and a bionic heart. Whoa. Not the most useful implants, admittedly, in terms of stat buffs. Do they do anything? You've definitely got something going on there. What the hell is that? Crypt Cryptothermia. Blast a target with crypto energy, greatly slowing down the air around them. Oh. A wintry surprise. Cryolize. Channel crypto energy into the bloodstream of a target, temporarily slowing down the flow of blood in the target's body. I presume you could use it on an enemy, right? To slow them down or use it on your own people to stop you bleeding out so fast. Very nice. Where are you going? I am so nervous of them doing anything because apparently we start already known to the Empire. Look at how damn fluffy that bear is. I mean, don't pet the bear. I mean, you could though. It does look very polite. I'm gonna be generous with the recreation. I'm not sure if this is the right move. We can't really do a huge amount with two people. So I guess we'll wait. Did someone put baubles on that animatory? Unbelievable. There's a sacred tree and you've tied a ribbon to it. Ridiculous. Oh, look at that. Crypto field generated by Crypto Exoskeleton. They got a built-in shield. It's only 100 points, but it's not massive. They both have Crypto Exoskeletons then. Oh, General Sparkles has a cool elf beard. You can't see it below his helmet. Right now, we'll keep things very Spartan. The very basics. Let's try and keep the Empire off our back as long as possible. I'm going to tidy this place up a little bit. Elves from Santa's helpers and have given up and are leaving. You're telling me there were elves on the map already? I didn't even notice them. What do you mean there were elves? We didn't get a raid notification or anything. They're not disabled this time around either. Just nothing. They're just lurking out there amongst all these damn nicely decorated trees. Two very, very good social characters. We don't really have much in the way of cooking. We don't really have much in the way of building or, or any sort of high skill stuff that we could really do with. Okay, I'm going to train you in cooking instead. We've got no one good at mining. Not that I think that'll be super relevant. Both very good at crafting because, of course, they're Santa's elves. That, that's kind of what they're here for or what they're supposed to be doing. I can see it now. Imagine the legendary elf fortress we can build on this river. What the hell do you mean by that? Due to Imperial disinformation, your relations with nice list have dropped by 10. Those are... You know, the people who worship Santa, the people who love Santa. I will admit, I wasn't really concerned about their opinion anyway. Together in the last little bits of useful stuff we've got scattered around the map. And we can decide what we've got to do. I, I think we need to be prepared to potentially abandon this base if things get a little bit hairy. Let's start by putting in some of the very basics. I'm going to give them a bedroom each. Oh my god, it's the cursed walls. You can't see whether or not they're built. If we can just find a way to squeeze in a little bit of recreation here, I'll be happy. Lovely. There you go. Some lovely, compact, comfortable bedrooms. And I guess a chess table, and that's as good as it's going to get, I'm afraid. I don't think I can do anything else at that point. Uh, please don't do that, though. Grizzly Bear is hunting General Cozy for food. No. No. I commented on how lovely you were, too. My God, that thing is moving at haste. Are you going to outrun that? Uh, General Sparkles, please get out of here. I'm not leaving that damn steel behind. Yeah, come get a taste. You come get a taste. You fuck with the wrong elves, bear man. Okay, careful. Kill that damn bear. Amazing shot. Really just stellar. Okay, okay. I've made a horrible mistake already. Shoot it. Please shoot the... Oh! <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake, chef. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Nice. Ooh, almost got it. Almost got it. I thought that one actually hit then. I know, I know, I know. We could have just gone indoors and left it alone. But you know what happens? We go indoors and the next thing... God damn, that was a great shot, but it's still standing. Next thing you know, we're stepping outdoors and being hunted by a grizzly bear again, okay? It's not acceptable. What was that? What the hell did you just do to it? Oh, great shot. And you know the best part about this? Dinner is served. I already feel terrible. Where did you make them look so cute? Oh shit, what the hell does that even mean? Aerodrome bombardment. The Santa's helpers have dispatched a number of aerodromes to your location. They suspect you are harboring deserters with ill intentions towards the Great Hierarchy. An aerodrome is an unmanned atmospheric drone designed for military purposes that are going to come and drone strike us. The Empire has pinpointed the location of your critical infrastructure and the aerodromes will shortly initialize their bombardment. Evacuation is advised. Okay. Um, they're just talking about tigers, apparently. That's not a tiger. I've got some terrible news for you. It doesn't look anything like a damn tiger. So what, we just stand outside and we watch our base go up in flames? It certainly bloody sounds like it. I guess that bear got the last laugh then, huh? Oh, well, that doesn't look good, chef. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Our beds, our turrets. Oh, it's shooting the intel. 
Can we get in there and, and, and get it out fast? Oh, no way. You're just going to get murdered. You're just going to get murdered. I'm not... Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't try that. That would have been a disaster. You know what? The base isn't looking as bad as I expected it to. Got a few more walls to put there. Just, of course, as we finish the bloody bedrooms. They bomb them out. Hilarious. Are we safe to come back in now? Oh, they destroyed the hospital bed. That's actually irreplaceable. The turret's okay, though. I can only imagine what inappropriate music I've edited in over the top of our base being hit by drones. <laughs> oh, your soothing kindness is a healing balm for my soul. Oh, uh, General Cozy wasn't into that. Gotta stay professional. You can't immediately fall in love with one another, especially because I'm not sure how long we're gonna last. Oh my God. If we build a base on the river and they blow up the bridge underneath, we're gonna lose everything. Well played, Empire. What idiot decided to do this? What a terrible plan that was, huh? What the hell is a gingerbread wall or a candy cane wall? Sure, gingerbread would stand up to an aerodrone strike. What have we got going on here? We've got a lot of very cozy things to help bring about the, the, the Christmas spirit. Ideology stuff, not super relevant because we smash the relics. Now, there are relics out there in the world, but they are relics of Santa himself. We bring them back to the base and we smash them to pieces. Gives our people a permanent mood boost if we do it, so we have a very big reason to be chasing down those relic requests, even though it'd be massively dangerous. Leave the base unattended where we go and look for Santa's lost laundry or whatever the hell we're going for. And of course, we have vehicles because getting across this planet is going to be quite hard given that we are in permanent winter. I mean, it's not too cold right now because it's summer or as close to summer as it could be. Just imagine it. When winter sets in and we build a dog sled or we build a war chariot. You don't get that one. That one's just for me. You don't like it. You strap some reindeer to a war chariot in your own time. That's just what I did. It's easy. And we have this intel scraper here, which will, I believe it has a random chance to generate the, uh, yeah, there you go. Each chance, uh, each pulse has a chance to generate a small amount of intel, but it also increases the visibility and may even alert an imperial strike force. I've already blown up what little intel we had. I think I'm okay. What I want to focus on more than anything else right now to kick things off is probably some defenses, if you don't mind. I mean, we haven't got much in the way of defenses. In fact, we should probably research turrets. If that thing blows up, we're in a lot of trouble. We have all of the tribal era and medieval era tech ticked off. Really, we should have probably started with some of this more, some of the more industrial and space attack, because we are, I suppose, technically a space attack faction, right? If we're a splinter of Santa's empire. Oh my god. How about a little trench warfare for Christmas? As a treat. Well, I'll keep you going for a while. See you all in 2024 when we finally tick all that off. You know what? Maybe we shore up the power grid as well, because that is looking a little stinky right now. We could throw down a bridge for the wind turbine, basically have it constantly unimpeded. That's not bad, but you know what we could do with? A um water wheel? What are they called? Water mill. That's right. We wouldn't have to run a generator. We'd just keep it going permanently. Genius. Big brain. Um, oh, okay. Slightly smaller brain. Where am I going to put that? So we've got to build ourselves a, a, an elven research facility. We are absolutely going to get blown to smithereens, and it's all your fault. Due to Imperial disinformation, your relations with Nice List have dropped by another 10. Again, I feel like that ship has sailed. Oh, my God. They are both terrible at plants. Brilliant. This could, <laughs> this could take a while to get enough wood then. My god, our strongest enemy yet. A local squirrel has gone mad. Oh my god, that's also tremendously adorable. Alexian, why have you done this? Why why are all these animals already textured to be so damn adorable? It makes me feel terrible when I shoot a grenade at it. This isn't a Christmas miracle. This is a Christmas nightmare. What's the opposite of a zoo? Because that's what we've got going on right now. Kill that squirrel. Terrible shot. I mean, goddamn, if we can't even take out a squirrel, how the hell are we going to take out Santa? Shoot that squirrel. Please do something to... Oh, thank you. Thank you, mini turret. Thank God we've got someone in this base who's capable of fighting. I want to rename this turret. Can we do that? Well, I didn't say anything about me not being able to add mods. I'm going to call you Legolas. Almost spelt wrong. In fact, maybe I should have just kept it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Lego. Le Leg Legolas. <laughs> My legally distinct elven friend. Thank you. Don't get me wrong. We have reason enough to try and stop Santa because of his kind of total control over everyone's happiness. But if anything happens to Legolas... We'll be very upset. Ooh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, General Cozy thinks you should give your faction a name. Oh, God. I have just, like, a horrible idea. I, again, as always, I'm open to suggestions in the comments because my suggestion is anti Santa Claus. <laughs> That's really bad, isn't it? That's really terrible. Just disgusting in every way. What should this settlement be called? Uh, nothing here 
just a river. I, I will accept gracefully. Gracefully accept your better name suggestions down in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How kind. That should be enough to kickstart a research lab. But we're going to build as close to the river as possible. It's a fantastic natural barrier against Sansa and his minions. The battle elves. Which we, I hope we don't get on the wrong side of anytime soon. I'm going to build things out of log walls because it's Christmas and that is tremendously cozy. I could build them to look like cookie shapes. It look like a, a lovely Christmas village. Alternatively, I could remember that we are in all out non-stop war and I probably should be a bit more serious since it's a little bit too early to be fannying around. Uh, so let's throw down a generic research room. Thinking we'll put a couple of research benches in there. We'll put, uh, maybe we'll move the comms console and, and, and some other stuff into here. It's almost like a, like like an information headquarters. I like that. Good branding. I mean, for now, we haven't... Uh, have we got a good researcher? They're both pretty bad, but one is significantly worse. Okay, I'll just slap down a single research bench for the time being. You're good. I tried to relocate so much of this stuff, but I I can't. We, we, we can't move some of it. Burn out Intel Scraper. Perfect. We can, we can move that one into here, and this is kind of the perfect building for it. This we can't move. This we can't move. So I'm going to have to do a little research, I think. We'll put a shelf in here with all of the, all of the intelligence-based stuff. This could be Mission HQ, and then the other building can be, can be our, our house. It can be simply just a house. <gasps> Christmas presents? What the hell do you mean Christmas presents? Where? General Cozy has been a very good colonist throughout the year. She has received some nice Christmas presents. That's right. You see, Santa might have total control on this planet, but there's another person out there somewhere. Some mysterious benefactor also giving us presents. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's go and unwrap them. You can watch General Sparkles. He seems pretty pissed off that he didn't get a present. Probably not very trustworthy, the fact that they suddenly just appeared. Okay. Open gift? Oh god, what if it's like a pipe bomb? Which is like an IED. What the hell is it? Lavish meal and some simple meals. Okay. Let's open another. We've got some large and some are just... Uh, all the rest are just generic Christmas gift. I see. <gasps> a black Santa hat. Wow. Gingerbread plates. Oh, sick. That's cool. And then let's open the next one. Again, I can't imagine they're particularly bomb-proof, but I suppose it's something, isn't it? We've got some delicious... Chocolate, probably a chocolate orange if you're in the UK. Candy cane wood. Come on. Could you show me just like a big rifle or something? I'll take a big rifle. Merry Christmas. It's a charge lance. I mean, that would be amazing. Gold. <laughs> I'll take solid gold. I'll take solid bars of gold. I'm not going to complain. Finally, 80 silver. Was that it in that final gift? Ah, oh. Christmas is the, that was the autosave message, by the way. I hope you like that. Christmas is the spirit of, of being thankful and being generous. So we're going to say thank you, anonymous benefactor. Should we wear the Santa hat? Oh my god. Oh god. The general could always wear the Santa hat. The leader of the colony can wear the Santa hat. A, a black Santa hat's being like opposition of red Santa. Oh, I like it. I'm sure I won't regret moving what was effectively power armor when he's inevitably shot in the head. Boy, do I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, the good news is Santa is getting a little bored. Probably assumes that we died in one of those aerodrome strikes, huh? Now that our visibility level has gone down, we can no longer be bombarded by the aerodrome bombardment. I got some bad news. The reason they're not so bothered is because they've just sent another aerodrome bombardment. Please, we haven't got anything worth bombarding. A few Christmas gifts, a broken dining room table. God damn, so it starts you on quite a high difficulty. Look at that. All Imperial armies on quest locations would be twice as big. Obviously, the aerodrome bombardment, which we've, uh, we've found out the hard way. Zolba raids can occur. Relations with the random faction drop by 10 per day. I think we're ineligible to get raids because there's only two of us. Two of us in a lovely little shack. Oh, God, this is horrible. I think we were supposed to get another aerodrome bombardment, but because the news dropped as it was going to happen, I don't think it can happen anymore. Oh. You well, we swap one drone for another. Hilarious. That's very funny. Thank you, game. This is the worst Christmas I've ever seen. I was going to put in a cozy as fuck parquet floor and we just can't do it. Ah. Oh. oh, now that is a fair point I should have mentioned earlier. This is the spirit of Christmas after all. And I mean, what could be a more important part of Christmas than self-destructive excess? I'm talking ambrosia. I'm talking maybe a little yayo. <gasps> Christmas present, speaking of which... Boy, I hope it's go-juice. Is it for General Sparkles this time? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let my man open his presents. Let my man open his presents. You can have a day off. Beer! Beer and chocolate. It's perfect. <laughs> Box number two. I think that was more chocolate and beer. Oh, my God. Okay, I mean, I know I said excess, but this is a little bit... This is a little bit excessive. 55 steel. 55 steel for Christmas. Thank you. Oh, you really shouldn't have. My God. I mean, no, seriously, you shouldn't have. That's... Oh, I'll take the solid gold bars, though. Got a couple more over here, too. And I think these were all for... 
general sparkles. I'm not sure what we're doing to get the Christmas presents, whether it's totally random, whether it's the person with the highest mood or something like that. I'm not sure. But this is lovely. <gasps> Christmas cookies and gingerbread plates. Eventually, I'm going to build Christmas Fortress. We need a lot of gingerbread to do it, though. And finally, box number three. It's great. It's like a loot box. Oh, dessert. When you think about it, Christmas was the original loot box. Thank you. No further questions. Get to work on those watermill generators, General Cozy. We're going to need a lot of power for a lot of friggin' turrets. Oh my god, more presents. Hello. I don't think we can get anything major out of them, okay? I don't think we're going to get some sort of some sort of cataphract armor, as lovely as that would be. I think it's all just fun little Christmas bonuses for your people. Oh my god. Okay, I take back everything I've just said. <laughs> Howie. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so kind. Thank you. Appreciate that. Makes up for my base being blown up. 14 Jade. Some of them are like, here's 14 Jade. You can do absolutely nothing with it. And then others are, it's five medicine, 10 components, 57 neutraming. Absolutely send it. We got a little silver. We got some more beer. And we got some smoltly. Very nice. All of the gingerbread stuff. And then a little bit more steel. Crack open the last one, please. Oh, my herrings. Christmas is ruined. Show me. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe more candy cane. Something that's stacked anyway. I'm going to float a suggestion. On the other side of the river, we build Fortress Gingerbread. I'm going to guess. Yeah, they haven't really got a huge amount of hit points. They are just they are just gingerbread. Oh, sleigh crash. Hello. A contract miner named Maurice is crashing in a sleigh. Maurice, my friend. Oh, look at how Christmas themed you are. Sorry, uh, you're bleeding to death. I shouldn't be appreciating what you're wearing. Oh my God, he's so Christmas themed. Legend. What are you good at, Maurice? Mining. That's the one thing we're not good at. Now, just because it was our elves that started the good fight doesn't mean it's always got to be elves. These people have been brainwashed by Sansa, okay? They need our help as much as the rest of this world needs help. Come along, Maurice. It is a Christmas miracle for you, my friend. Of course, we're going to have to convert him away from the blind worship of Sansa. Oh, God. Alokudo has gone mad. Okay. Okay. Get ready. Get the grenade launcher. Jesus, that's fast. Holy shit. It's booking it over here. Careful. Careful. Steady, Sparkles. Oh, you fool. <laughs> a lovely venison meal for Christmas. My God. I bet that grenade launcher is going to have absolutely no downsides or negative effects whatsoever. No. Is that the Empire already? No. We're not prepared for this. Charge lances and Zeus hammers. Good Lord. How the hell do we do anything about that? I, I guess we stand there and we pray that they don't blow... Legolas up. Otherwise, I might shed a sad tear. This has been a wake-up call. We need to stop pissing around with Christmas presents, and we need to get to work on bloody turrets. Send Cozy forward. Maybe you could pick a few off, because that Crypto Crossbow has a massive range to it. Look at that. See? Perfect. We can already see them. You will never get this. You will never get this. Blow the legs off. Nice! Great shot! Oh, my God. Incredible work. We're, we're pulling a couple over. Hey, this is big brain. We've got to use guerrilla tactics. It's the only way we're going to survive. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, careful. Let's go for that one because they've got a charge lance. They can match you blow for blow. I have faith in General Cozy. A much better shot. Ah, just be careful. Just be careful. Get behind that tree. Come on. Oh, please. Why are they all dressed in Christmas outfits? I've only just noticed that. Look. What a shot. Oh, my God. Amazing. Now we take out the friend. Oh, General Sparkles, you might as well just go back to bed, my friend. Well, we've got General Cozy up here. You are, you're fine. Everything is fine. Okay, maybe things aren't fine. Maybe things are a little less, maybe things are a little less fine than I anticipated. Oh God, that's a lot of firepower coming away. Get back. Run a gun. You can stay just outside of their range. Maybe pick a couple off on the way back. Oh no. Okay. Okay, Sparkles, get up here. Stop running and gunning. You're going a little bit too slow with that. I mean, it is a crossbow after all. Sparkles is going to pop out. He's going to lay down a shot there. Trust. Trust the process. Fire! Nice! Oh, great hit. Didn't do anything, though, but that was amazing in theory. <laughs> right, kill that one fast. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Great shot through the shield. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're fine. You're fine? Nice. Great shot. Take out Julian. Oh, no, 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 no. We should go for the melee characters. You shoot Julian. You shoot that one. Careful there. Careful there. You can take a hit. Oh, my God. My doors. They've decided to steal what they can and leave. It's so pretty good you just do a bloody hole in the base, you moron. Come on, send him. How's your shield? His shield's down. His shield's down. Okay, pull back, pull back. Oh! General Cozy! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, please, just get into some cover anywhere. Some cover anywhere would be great. Turn around, blow that one up. Blow that one up. Hey, put, put a shot there instead, just in case they drop behind cover again. That's great. That's great. Great shot. Oh, slightly out of range. Julian, what are you doing? 
Why are you mining through my walls, Julian? Do you know how rude that is? This is incredible. This is a work of art. You should have bought your best. Danta has sent you to die, my friends. Just surrender. Just surrender. This isn't what Christmas is about. Oh, God. They, they bled out. Oh, shit. They fell down. Um, To be fair, we did uh, blow one of the legs off. Oh, hello there. Okay. Um, My friend, how are you? No elves. Interesting. N none of the combat elves. That's good because they are um frightening. Very scary. Capture them. Patch them up as soon as possible. My God. Is that a bio-coded Zeus hammer? Because if it's not, that is a Christmas gift right there. Oh! <laughs> Good luck, squad. They're both competent doctors. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to save you, though. To be fair, it's only two big injuries. Oh, you're fine. Holy shit, they're both totally fine. Get them away from Santa's false words. We're not monsters. We're not evil. We're, we're these, these are human beings that we could have freed from Santa's evil ways. We're going to give them a proper burial, damn it. You thought I'd forget that other one, didn't you? But we're the good guys. We just want a free Christmas. Free Christmas for everyone. Probably missing Christmas. What does that mean? People are at risk of death. <laughs> Sorry, I did these a few days ago. I don't remember what they all mean off the top of my head. Yeah, you're right. You probably will miss Christmas at this rate. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. And with that, of course, we've got a taste of Santa's power. Five decently armored ground troops sent to stamp out two innocent elves. Oh my god, Maurice, what the hell? That was fast. Holy shit, I'll take it. We got a hint of what Santa is capable of. We've seen one aero drone strike. We felt that. We almost got a second one. We've seen Santa's propaganda in action, turning the nice list against us. He's, he's made them believe that we are the terrorists that he's making us out to be. Santa has made a premium mistake. He has sent us three brand new recruits, people we can turn to our cause. Of course, we get the occasional unwavering little person, you know, someone who can't be turned away from Santa's lies, and that's totally fine. We don't need everyone. We will just send them off. We'll let them go. We're not here to execute. We're not here to kill or enslave. If we execute Santa's minions, we're just feeding into his damn lies. Now, please bear in mind, we have had just a taste of Santa's power. At the higher level, Santa is going to be borderline unstoppable. If we draw too much attention too quickly, we are going to definitely pay the price. And of course, someone out there is our mysterious benefactor. Someone who wants to, maybe more than us, see Santa be destroyed. Somebody clearly with high connections, if they can make presents suddenly appear overnight for those who have been good. Who could it be and why would they want to help us? It's all a mystery, but do bear in mind as you leave your suggestions below that I do have veto power. If something is upvoted massively and I don't think it fits, I will try and give a good reason for why we're not going to add it, but I don't think that'll happen too frequently. Consider them gifts for our people to help fight the good fight. Thank you for joining me. Please come back tomorrow with General Cozy, our murderous, murderous elf, murderous of the force of good, and General Sparkles, who I think has just been delegated to uh, flooring at this point. I can't wait to grow an emotional attachment to all of these little people, only to watch them be murdered horribly by Santa's insidious forces. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me today, and please come back tomorrow for a little bit more Advent, uh, with the addition, of course, of whatever mod gets thrown in as well. Uh, I, I, I've i just finished editing the episode right now, and I'm not sure you probably want to be credited for this one, given some of the musical choices I've made. I do edit in all the music manually now. I started doing it a few, probably like a few months ago now, because uh, whereas before I just record whatever music was coming out of the game, right, when it would get chopped up, I don't know, it just didn't give enough credit to, like, the, the, originally the Rimworld soundtrack, but of course the last couple of theme series I've been doing everything manually, which is an, an, an enormous extra workload. But for this series, like some of the timings on it, so perfect. Like like when I timed the Sugar Plum Fairy right in line with that uh, with, with that Aero Drone Strike. It's a work of art. This is going in a museum, and I'd like to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to do that. Um, uh, massively, especially so this month, where the names have once again fallen off the screen, and I've had to resize the Patreon list, so very much appreciate it. That is a lot of names. Thank you. Thank you today to Vonorath. Warseeker 9994, Sir Talksalot, Chicken Robo, Ayaba, Deadwood, Sabine Shadowhill, Cow Aladdin, Birdman, Prince Typhos, Shatner's Bassoon, Texas Yardbird, MGS Detect Sound, Facundo Vasquez, Wazi, Brambio, Triquatral, Vincent Van Giel, Mothbot, Hoaxor, Chalk Comrade, Lady Jade, Dranmere, Carly's Rainbows, and Biv for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for joining me. This is going to be a, a, a waking nightmare of a series every single day. And I think I'm going to run out of Christmas. In fact, I think I've already run out of Christmas music. So I'm going to have to get creative with whatever I do for the soundtrack this time. Thank you as well to Elias Volberg, Fatigable, Jason R, King, Luffy Link 3, Mithrin, Watchman, Captain Tess, Lassero, Lady Addax, Earl Silver, Justin Wallace, Nylanthria, NZ Smithsey, 
Toasty Buns, and Zelith as well. Come back very, very soon. I'm dreading waking up tomorrow. Ha 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 ha.